everybody. It's Michelle here with Angel Souls. We have our weekly angelic message coming at you right now. This is everything you need to know. Please remember that these are timeless. Always feel free to go back. I have a whole library of thousands of angelic messages in videos. Okay, so go back through that whole library. Check it out. Of course, I have content on a lot of spiritual topics as well. So go check that out too. So for this week, I did promise that I had some announcements coming. As I'm filming this, I'm getting ready to launch so long as no things happen. Okay, <laughs> like it's loading right now. My very first Angel Souls podcast episode. And that is going to be on what all these sightings are. Are they aliens? Talking specifically about the Miami Mall sighting. What types of beings are we going to be encountering? That's all on this podcast. I will give you details as soon as I have them. So it'll probably be in the description box. So check that out. The other announcement is that I am starting another account. So to be clear, I will still be here on YouTube. I will still be here on YouTube. So check me out here. But I'm also going to be doing some content on this other platform that starts with an R. And if you don't know what it is, it's what thunder does in the distance. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so I'm going to be uh, taking my library here, putting it over there as I back up. And I'll probably have some additional things over there as well. It's known for, as far as I understand, I've never put in content over there before, but it's known for being able to speak a little more freely. So we'll see. We're, it's kind of in testing mode. So we're going to be doing that as well. So there's all that. I have also left a post talking about how I am doing a wellness journey. If you've been following me for a while, I've tried a couple of things in the past and Obviously, COVID happened. That was very stressful. I have my COVID weight on, but I want to make it clear because I feel like from some of the comments and responses I got to that post that people are thinking this is just for fatties out here. Um, <laughs> fatties are welcome. Okay. Always. You're beautiful. <laughs> You're my people. I love you. But it's not just that. It is a wellness journey. So for me personally, yes, I do need to get my eating in order, eat healthier, make more time for proper workouts, all of that. But your wellness journey might be you need to meditate more. Or even if you have a super clean diet, have you gotten your blood tested recently? Do you know that that is working properly for you? Okay. Are you strong? If you're a bodybuilder, are you flexible? If you say, yeah, 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 I'm strong, but can you run? You know what I'm saying? So these are all things that are part of our physical wellness. It's also, it's also, sorry, also mental and emotional and spiritual wellness all put together. All right. So just because I am going to go on this journey and I'm focusing on de-stressing. Okay. I don't know if you guys know, but I run very many different facets of angel souls by myself. I don't have editors. I don't have an assistant. Everything is done by me. Okay. I, the only help I get is from an accountant <laughs> and thank God for a good accountant. Okay. But that's it. So I need to work on as far as wellness goes, learning how I guess to streamline my life more, um, what still feels authentic for me to do. What else do I want to try? Because the stress is what's driving the unwellness for me physically. So again, please don't just like be like, well, I'm fit and I don't need nothing because you can't tell me nothing. Really? Um, <laughs> coming here and saying that, how's it feel? Does it give you a cramp? Because it probably would have. Reevaluate. Thank you. All right. So there is that. I want to get to the messages, but also I got to talk about the services real quick. If you want a live service with me, that could be a live reading, a live course, okay? Um, I have angel mediumship courses. Those are a slightly different price point than the regular courses. The other courses are one-on-one. -on -one. It's like live tutoring on any spiritual topic you really want to cover in the angel realm, okay? So if you want to connect with your guardian angels, if you want to connect with a certain archangel, what have you, we can do that. Okay, so for the live sessions, please hear me carefully. 
I know this gets confusing for the live sessions. Just email me. Someone said, why don't you use one of the um, automated systems? Of course, I thought of that. Of course, but the first thing I thought of, like, let <laughs> me just put this on there. And then I realized, as I was saying before, I have all these different facets to running Angel Souls. So it would take more time to go in and have to block everything out every week because I'm working on standard readings or I'm working on filming or whatever, then it's worth. What's more, I guarantee you, I guarantee you, people are going to get the time zones messed up. I have clients all over the world. Okay. So just for now, okay, maybe I can test that out a little bit later as I streamline things and get things in order in a different way, I guess, trying new things. That might be something that I bring about. But for now, email me, angelsouls444 at gmail.com for live sessions. If you want a standard reading, those are easy enough. You just pop onto my website, angelsouls444.com. This is a great spiritual wellness practice. These readings not only give you an answer to your questions, but it opens you up for angelic communication. So your messages will continue to come even after you get the session. And what's more, I may have mentioned this before, but forgive me if I didn't. If you're a client of mine, it comes with, I do like a whole thing after your reading where I send you blessings. So it always comes with that <laughs> because whatever you spent on getting a reading, I always do a little thing so that that comes back to you times 10. So that you get even more abundance in one way or another and lots of blessings and certainly a lot of love and appreciation and gratitude. So there's all that. Angelsouls444.com for the standard readings. Okay, let's get on to the messages. Oh, because, oh, okay. <laughs> it's so weird out in these streets. Um, and what can I say about it? Well, we're tired. We're very tired and people are going to start tripping over their own feet because they are tired. As I've been saying, this is a big time of truth. A lot of truth coming out. Things being exposed. It's also, in my head, I just want to call it the time of 180s. Okay, <laughs> like that's the bad guy. Oh, wait, no. Huh? This is the bad guy. Wait, and you were onto something? Wait, what? It's very that. Or someone you thought you could trust. For some of you, you're realizing you can't trust them. Or you thought, well, you know, it's a weird dynamic, but we all just kind of, we're just cordial. We all, And then finally you're realizing, no, if I keep these people near me, they're ruining my health, they're ruining my mental, emotional health. They're abusive. I got to get this out of my life. Some of you are making those hard decisions. Now, on the upside, this could be some reconciliations. This might be something like there's a loop around where if there's a mystery in your life, okay, something that was hanging open, you never quite understood what it was. Now, it wouldn't be for everyone Okay, it wouldn't be for everyone to go seeking out those answers. Sometimes the answer is obvious and you're just not accepting it. If he's not calling you, he doesn't want to. Okay, leave it. If men want to talk to you, they talk to you. Okay, it's not complicated. Oh, he's scared. Really listening to some of these readings out there. No, men are in my old age and experience, <laughs> what I have discovered is that when men want something, they usually go for it. If they're shy, even, okay, maybe there's some work around there. If you're a shy guy, let us know how you handle things like that. But I don't know if they want to call you, they will. If they're not, then they're not. And you need to let it go. You feel me? Okay. But for others of you, if there's some bit of mystery where you didn't have the whole story, that story might be presenting itself to you. Now, I don't know where this is coming from for some of you. Uh, it could be, it might be secondhand, like secondhand information. So be careful with that. And yet for others of you, it might be directly from the person. Now, as this goes on, for some of you, please be careful that someone isn't just trying to hoover you back into their life. They ran out of supplies, so they're just bringing you back in. Make sure it feels authentic and like someone is really 
Like, hey, I don't know whatever happened there. Like if it's a friend. Um, and, and I'll give you a couple of examples here. I had one friend where, you know, we ended up reconnecting and we found out that there was a culprit and somebody was turning us against each other. We were able to make amends and get that straightened out. In another situation with a friend, oof, this is girl, she a piece of work. Okay. I, I travel with her. I have so many stories and I can't share them with you about that trip to Barcelona, Spain. Um, I can't cause it's, it, it's too weird and it's inappropriate on this, on this here platform. It really, I'll tell you something. She vomited in some plants. I should have warned you. Um, if you're eating anything, I guess it's too late at this point, but hold off. Literally, we were at this beautiful, nice restaurant, and she went off and vomited in the plant. And then came out to the table, told me what she had done, and then proceeded to keep eating. Uh, yeah. If anybody in Barcelona in that restaurant, you know, you you know this story. This would have been circa what? I don't know when I went. 2010, 20, 2009, something like that. I don't know, but you know what I'm talking about. And there were other things. That's some of the stuff she was engaging in. I can't talk about here, but it was, it was unfortunate for me. I did not sign up for this. I don't know why people think the way they do. Anywho, that particular person, she tried to come back into my life later on and everything in me was like, this is a Hoover and we're not doing it. You're, you're a cluster B sort of person and I'm not allowing this toxicity back in. So when I give this message to you all, we have Metatron in here, Gabriel, Michael, those are very, and your Uriel uh, coming in here. So you might be, want to be working with them this week along with your guardian angels. A lot of us have extra guardian angels coming in to help us through because, and we'll get to this, this is the heavier part of this, but um, just to complete out this other thought, <clears throat> just just uh, make sure you're really in tune with your heart space about what what you want to allow back in, what is worth a conversation. And conversely, if you're somebody who's like, well, I've always wanted to have a conversation. I don't know, though. I mean, I guess you could try. Unless you're like, it's a heterosexual dynamic and you're obsessing over a dude who wasn't good to you, okay, if he wants to come and talk to you and you feel like it's okay to have a conversation, then have the conversation, all right? I, I think you get what I'm going for here. Now, part of this spiritual fortification that I keep harping on, and I'm going to keep harping on it because it is so imperative, there are so many dark energies trying to force horrible things to happen in this world. And I'm talking on a large, large scale. And I've already had lots of clients who we, we've discussed this, where us carrying light does help. I was just telling or having this conversation with a client and I said, you know, not this past November, but I believe it was the November before that, uh, we were so close to someone really pushing World War III. I felt it. I felt sick. I, I knew it was like, it, there was not a doubt in my mind and I didn't know what else to do but to pray and meditate. And in that process, people, I couldn't even see their faces. I have no idea who they were, what they looked like, but I felt them and I felt them doing the same thing. And we were joining forces basically. And there was a little orb that just went <laughs> off camera, but it just went just like that. Um, and, and we did our part bringing that, that good energy through and it didn't happen. Now, if you're sitting there going, what do you think? You're some kind of magical being? No. No. And are you just dead weight in a flesh suit? Are you one of those? We have those. We have soulless people walking around. They're posing as people. That's not a joke. It's not a joke. You can laugh. You can laugh. But that discomfort you feel is because you know you won't get the last laugh. You know that. If you have any bit of humanness in you, you know it. So be careful. Now, you don't have to believe the way I do. You don't have to use the language 
that I do if you're not comfortable with it. But don't dismiss it. <laughs> don't. You guys want to get over there and check out my first podcast as soon as I get it up. Like literally right here is my computer and she's loading. So I really hope nothing goes amiss with it because that's all I need then. It'll be like, you keep saying like you're going to do stuff and then you don't. I know, okay? ADD. I don't know what to tell you. It's not an excuse. It's a lifestyle, okay? <laughs> for me, apparently, it's a lifestyle. Maybe not for you, but for me, as I'm coming to learn and I'm learning how to deal with it, thank you and good night, okay? Anyway, so there's... <laughs> oh, and I also took down um, my old background. This is this. is this. I may... I was unpacking a few more things back here. Uh, don't be too excited because most of it has just shoved forward. It's here and it's here, but we're fine. We'll get there. Maybe I'll bring the other background back. I don't know, but comment down below. Let me know what you think. But yeah, be ready uh, for some things to be shaking and moving and a lot of response from the earth. A lot of response from the earth. Just seeing this earthquakes, volcanoes, nasty storms. Right now there is a snowstorm going on. We're fine. We're safe. We're cozy. We're very lucky. But imagine people in other areas who are not used to this or they don't have a warm place to go, right? This is where you need, so I keep talking about spiritual wellness. You need to be fortified for these things to do exactly what a bunch of us were doing a year ago. Other things. There's a lot here about breakups. So people, huh, walkouts. So that could be, I know there have been a lot of layoffs. Like that's been happening. That's an energy thing though. And that doesn't mean that people got laid off, deserved it. I'm not saying that. What can I say without getting me in trouble? Uh, I suppose nothing. It was an energetic attraction thing. Think about people in tech who were like, we're good. We're always safe. Well, here you go. Now you're realizing, no, you're not. Same thing's going to be happening for people who work on Wall Street. You're in investments. You're in banking. Whatever. You think you're good and you're like, oh, my job is secure. No, it's not. 2008 who? Okay. Understand that. And we don't want a repeat of 2008 as far as how certain people responded. It was very tragic. I mean, people were so into their job being their identity, especially in the banking system, that when it wasn't there anymore, I'll let you fill in the blank there of what happened. We don't need a repeat of that. Okay, we don't need a repeat of that. You, there's going to be things happening to get us to realize just how valuable life is, as is. Not when you have a ton of money. Who cares? Who cares? That is such a made up, <laughs> such a made up thing. I'm always here. I'm sorry, financial people. I know. God love you. But my God, when I'm sitting there watching some of this stuff, you know, like, oh my gosh. And then this stock did this. <laughs> Right. And tomorrow it's going to do something else. Like, what are you doing? Like, why is this fun? Is it, if it's fun for you, okay, great. But don't make it your identity. That is very important. It's crucial. And the same thing could be said for somebody who, let's say you're a musician and you didn't get picked up by a major label. Guess what, honey? You were just spared. I mean, you're being, you're being protected. Or you didn't get that book published. I truly believe I'm being protected. It's also something I tell myself because I'm, <laughs> it's a whole long story about getting published. You know, I mean, but if you, if you identify, whatever your job is, if you deeply define yourself from that perspective, you're an executive and, you know, the only way people take me seriously is if I really step into this role and be powerful. I mean, that's all well and good, but it's okay to not be that. It's okay. It's all right. Maybe all these shakeups are coming into people's lives. I was hearing there's like massive walkouts. So there could be strikes going on. Maybe more protests. There could be things like that going on. This also breaking up relationships. And I feel like I need to speak more towards people who are getting dumped. Because 
This isn't across the board, of course. Some of you are parting ways with someone. It's very amicable, very loving, understanding. You both know you're going in different directions. If that's the case, okay, I feel for you. Others of you are finally getting strength to leave a toxic situation. I'm there with you. I love you. Make sure you're doing so safely, okay? Especially if the other person might react, you know what I'm saying? Like, so just be safe there. But I also want to speak to those who are being dumped um, because some of you are going to try to hang on to a situation that angels are trying to save you from. Karmic situations. And that gets tricky. There's, um, I don't even like saying that. It's just a term people are now familiar with. But people have twisted that. So it's like this karmic partner means like I was, I need to be punished in, from another lifetime. And so I'm stuck with this partner. No, you're not. <laughs> okay. Let's just say this was somebody who maybe is showing up into your life to provide contrast to get you to realize some things. Or if you've had a hard hitting kind of moment with somebody and you didn't get your way, hopefully you learn from that. Okay. But if you feel like change around relationships is just too much, it's too scary. I can't, I can't do this. Yes, you can. Okay. Whatever's right for you. I'm not encouraging everybody to go out there and just like break up or whatever, but please understand that you they're saying it's time to sum it up. It's time to sum up, not me, but like <laughs> sum up this video. You know, it's time to sum up the lessons there and get ready to move forward. Okay. So there's a lot of that going on. Um, there's going to be a lot around, oh, there is a lot around community. And I want to share with y'all here real quick. Um, when I, I, I'm from Ohio originally. Yeah, that place everybody jokes about, like second only to Florida. I'm from here, okay? <laughs> cool it, all right? <laughs> Nobody, like, but I'm from Ohio. I went from a small town in Ohio, lived in Columbus, Ohio for a while. I went to Ohio State University. Excuse me, the Ohio State University. Yeah, they're that. They're, they are that, okay? Then I moved, little small town Ohio girl, moved out to Los Angeles, literally lived in Hollywood in a haunted apartment building. I got two videos up about that. Check it out on my channel. The building's still standing. I don't know how. It's still, because it was ready to fall down when I was there. Bulges in the walls from all the earthquakes, yeah. Uh, so I moved from Hollywood to New York City, lived in Manhattan, lived in Brooklyn, lived in Queens. I've been all over the place. And then I moved, I'm like, where was it after that? Dang, I've lived so many places. <laughs> and when I was on the East Coast, I was in Jersey City for a short period of time. I lived in Philly for a few months and then came back. Like I've been all over the place. And then I moved to Colorado Springs, which was awful. I can say it now because I'm out of there. It was awful. Um... Story at 11 on that one. But anyway, I lived there and then I finally came back home to my hometown. Not just to Ohio, but back to my hometown. And by, I really believe by the grace of God, I found this house. You guys know I'm always talking about this house. It's an old house. It needs a lot of work, but I love this house. Built in 1890, baby, okay? Which makes me think someone had to have died here at some point. Probably many someones. That's weird, but... Okay, but also a lot of Christmas cookies were made here and memories and all kinds of things, families, right? Okay, okay, because I just freaked myself out. But anyway, I moved <laughs> into this area. Not only am I from here, and so finally for the first time since I was like 18 years old, I don't have to fight that, yeah, but you're not from here thing, which you would think New York would have been bad about that. Uh, -uh. It was Colorado Springs. They're the worst. The place is terrible. I'm sorry. It's beautiful. It's terrible. Okay. Story at 11. Come back here. I finally have a sense of community. And not only just from being in my hometown, but where I live, the portion of town I live in. Like I said, we've been having, we had a cold snap here that was horrendous. Uh, there's a snowstorm going on right now. And this street, I went outside to shovel my sidewalk. Now, my landlord takes care of that for the most part, but he also has a day job. And I think it's the guy next door. I'm not even sure, but 
but I think it's the guy next door who goes out there and he shovels to help out. Well, I went out because I knew that my landlord would be at work. And so I thought, well, I'll go out and shovel, you know, and it was already done. And I thought, how sweet, you know, like that's just a small example. But when we're talking survival, you know, I'm on the same street as some like military dudes. Okay. They're now since retired. My landlord is like, you know, one of those, it seems like he'd just be like super prepared about everything. And they all, we all live in the same area. I feel very comfortable here. I feel like if push came to shove, we have a community here and we're all going to look out for one another. That is going to be something that many people are not going to put value on and they're going to be mistaken in the end. Now I'm not telling everybody to run back to your hometown, okay? Because maybe that's not right for you. <laughs> Just wherever you are, make sure you have a sense of community, okay? That is going to be imperative. But a lot of shakeups, especially this week. This week is going to be a lot of, I feel like a lot of shocks, coming up, um, a lot of things coming at you. Um, I, I'm already experiencing that. I opened my email this morning. I have an offer of a sponsorship for one of my videos. I got to look at that contract to see if it's the right thing. If it is, you'll see me mention it in a video. That helps me out a ton. That's how a lot of us make money and I haven't had a sponsorship in a while. So potentially that's a really good thing. I, again, I got to check it out and make sure I can get behind it before I, I do anything or give it to you guys. You know what I'm saying? Um, people wanted me to speak on panels. I've gotten quite a few offers for that. Just a lot of stuff pouring in all of a sudden. So you might be in that. So there could be some surprise news this week. Um, or it's like it's here and then it's broken. For some of you, it needed to be broken because you need to move on. And yet for others, especially if you're not paying attention to your spiritual wellness, this is going to be devastating and you are just not going to know what to do with yourselves. If you want angelic, well, prote angelic protection, that's fine. You just go ahead and ask for the angelic protection. You can do that. Uh, if you do want to do some spiritual work, that's why I offer services. Again, email me for live sessions, angelsouls444 at gmail.com. Or if you want a standard reading, you want to go that route. Those are a little bit more affordable, angelsouls444.com. Those are booked on my website. But be working on this. Whether you work with me, work with someone, just, just do it, okay? Just do it. All right. I love you guys. Leave your comments down below. Let me know how you're doing. Go check out the podcast. Check me out on that other thing <laughs> that I can't talk about here. But yeah, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.